Welcome back. We need to pass this minefield. And though uh, our bunnies got quite far in what is possibly the most ridiculously awesome scene in video game history, they did not make it all the way across. And we can't just repeat the process because the vultures replant the minefield every time. Perhaps we can try a different approach, where brute force fills... Subtlety may succeed. You gotta pick up all the bunnies. Okay. Now we've got lots and lots of bunnies in our inventory. And maybe if we let them go one by one so they can leave off where, uh, or follow off where the previous one blew up, we may be more successful. Well, that one didn't get very far. Question is, will we have enough bunnies? I don't this video, any of these boys. This video may not be suitable for lovers of bunnies. Although, remember, they are only fake bunnies. Mm -hmm. We seem to be getting somewhere, at least. Although the same can't be said for the bunnies. Who are only getting blown up. Not really somewhere. Oh, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Rabbit. We made it! We still have bunnies left, even. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack him up! Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> we didn't do it! Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Corley and I... I said shut up about my dad. Malcolm once... I said shut up about my dad. I'm losing my temper, Maureen. And you're about to lose much more. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. <clears throat> wow. This uh, looks like it's painful. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Let me go, or else... Or else what? Or else... Well, sick the polecats! We're all in jail, so that may not actually work. I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. You put them there, remember? Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll tear this place apart. Ironic choice of words, Ben. Yeah, you could have put that better. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names? Monkey Island style, I like it. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Wait a second, Diaper Dynamo, that's the name Corley gave her. If we say that, she may believe that we knew him. That we were friends. 
diaper dynamo. How? Where'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Um, uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on. Chili dogs, cause it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Doreen Schmorley. Subtle. All right, boys. Sick em. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Mm -hmm. Try and get away now, bicycle boy. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Are you Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. It's a demolition derby, which actually controls with the arrow keys. Which is kind of weird. I need to get the Mo. Right. Damn it! Get out of the way! I need to get the Mo. That's not not gonna happen. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. We need hey, to get around those guys. Doing? Get over here and nail me. I'm trying, Mo. Maybe we can use 
this ramp. Maybe we can't even get up that ramp. There we go. Ah! No. It's too far away. What else is here? Is that a ramp? More cars. Stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. See, that's why motorcycles are better, I guess. Hmm. But I stole a car here, which apparently we can push around. Maybe we can use it to extend the range of that other ram. Come on. Go a bit more this way. Ben, I can't avoid these other cars forever. Hold on, Mo. Besides, this is a Lucas Arts game. There's no way it's actually time. There's no crud. That's a problem. Wait, what? I didn't even know that could happen. Okay, we clearly need to put, put it, uh, push it further to the... to here before that works. Not too far, because otherwise I can't get under it again. We need to push it over the ramp. People in stage must be thinking, in the crowds must be thinking, this is the weirdest demolition derby ever! I think that plate is there. Come on! There we go. Alright! Jump over that car. Boom, brothers. It's all over. There we go. Get him. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Why are they Mo? both in the car anyway? Our big finale. Do it. Priorities, priorities. We. He's the runner and the torch all in one, folks. Let's get out of here. He's still going. That's the way out, but I can't get through that door. This is your moment to shine. Box seats. I guess the Avenger. <laughs> Okay, we need to make a bigger diversion. Hey, Susie. Ben, quick, yeah, but then make something happen, will ya? That's the hard deal most expected for you. Wait, we can set the wall on fire. That will work. Let's all remain calm and... Yeah, you're right. The derby's over. Run for 
squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. That could be a problem. We need to make it to the exit, but we'll do that in the next video.